You know, what we can say it is a contributor. It's not we only say it's a contributor in the sense of how much it promote the violence, but in which the man them enrich themselves and buy the tools to do violence. Because the music itself is a reflection of the society. The government need for focus on is the children and the parenting. To be honest, we reach a point in Jamaica where we feel like there should be incentives given to these women not to have children before a certain age. Before they develop some level of maturity where they can be better mothers, better fathers. Unless we slow that down and instill better virtues when it comes to parenting. Even if the music never did it, but I still have the crime. So, it reflects what is developed in the societies. It contributes in a sense when I know um, artists are, are use them gun, their money by gun. But again, it's like a firing circle because if the society is what it is, people are going to talk about the environment. I just say, I mean, as rich as America is. Yeah, you the black rapper them. I be your gun them talk about it. <laughs> bitches and hoes. Cause that's that that other society them know. And it come from them parenting. You understand? Yeah man, good morning to everybody. Shout out, shout out. You know it girl. Okay, the question the impact. Yes, alright, so this is my view on it. Yes. Dance all music have an impact on crime and violence but it's bigger than it's deeper than that because in a reality we sing about what go on around me what is cool is <laughs> we add that we sing about and sometimes we make it cool but in reality we're singing about what's been going on you go to a different culture countryman them they must sing about tractor the man sing about the man sing about this that the Americans and the Black Americans them they must sing about for them thing and so on. You go in a different culture, you see, so they really are sing about what's going on in them culture. As if them sing about something else when I go in them culture, that now I go take a just like dancer and reggae. Look for reggae. I'm pretty sure reggae bigger around the world. They make more money for singing reggae. Yeah, tour more places, etc. But a dance hall. <laughs> Nobody know how to sing reggae because in a year culture, reggae now go on nothing now. You see me? A dance hall, it's cool for the girl thing, the gun thing, the youngster thing. That's what's cool to us. I mean, let's not lie to ourselves. So, the big issue is we have to change we have to change our fit as a culture and we can't blame the music. You see me? Cause they might go sing about what is what is going on, what is cool, cause if they don't sing about that, we don't want to hear it. It is what it is, so bigger than the music, man, we have to change we. Yo, brother, dance hall music is part of the problem. And I was say it's solely the problem, but it's part of the problem. You hear what you say? What is cool? You see me? So it's cool if you tell a man to slap out a man's block, taking three pints. You understand? But reggae music no cool. But a reggae music can take you up on tour and take you around the world and show you different places. You see? But you got to tell me, say, I got cool. It may cool to you. You see me? Because you not take it literal. But for your next man, him take it literal. Or our next you take it literal. You see me? And it reflect, it reflect people in a different way, you know. You understand? While the music we irate you if you do something. You understand? If you slap where a boy or whatever. It will irate me if you go slap where I'm a co-worker because he might fight against me. You understand? He might the problem in a my workplace. So it reflect me in a different way. So the music irate me in a certain way if you go say, hey, boy. While when I listen to reggae music, he might say, yeah, what? Just leave him to time and leave him to certain things, you see me? 
you, you meet for him demise at a certain point. Well, me Alice is a certain, you know, skilly or whatever, skilly bang or bang or whatever. Me, I think, say, oh boy, I had figured slap where and chop, chop, boy, and you know, do this and like so. It reflects people in a different way, brother. And not just only that, the youths, them nowadays, all them I see is choppings and scammings and tall up and rifle finger and rifle this. You get what I say? So them distracted from reality, Virgin. You see me? Uncle things, them I see are cool things, brother. You see me? That's all I said. Music, music needs to be toned down, brother, with this whole heap of violence and this whole heap of... You see me? It needs to be toned down, brother. No matter how you want to say it, no matter what you want to say, and no matter how much excuse you want to make, music needs to be toned down. You see me? Too much violence and them are big up gang. Oh, them not big up nothing else. You see me? Oh, them not push forth nothing else. That was gang and violence and scamming and chopping. You see me? But yes, still let me live in some little run down place. You see me? A big car and a show of money and tattoo and chain. You see me? But which part they live, they can look good. You see me? Zinc fence and pop down and... Come on, man. Music needs to tone down, brother. You need to tone down. I may me ask you this, since as you say, I'm that cool. See? Since as I'm that cool, cause the image of the youth, they will claim, they want to claim, say cool, you know. See? If I want some tight pants and them pants, they wear down at their knee. See? I show them under pants and certain things. So I may ask you this. Career day for your youth at school. I that you say cool, you know. See? A career day for your youth at school. You see me? In a grade three or four, a, a primary school. See? A career day. They go dress him up and put on some fake tattoo on him and can't go to school with him pants and knee. And, and, and have him a sing one of them songs there and a bust up, tall up, tall up and a pose up. You would have do that for your youth since as a that cool. And that just a cool, you know, and that's that the reality, you know. So me ask you, if you would have carry your youth on talent show and dress him up that way there, you see me? Put on some cane ring on him and put on two fake tattoo on him face and round him jaw and, you know, carry That just a cool, you know, brother. That's that more your answer me. Zin and I play them tune there and I bust them tune there. You see me? Have him with all a fake spliff in him and I sing, say him tall up and him ratty gang and him yeng yeng and him yeng bass and all of the all of the things them where you say cool. Chopping and scamming and me I ask you if you would have just up your youth and came out on career day or on talent show or something and make him represent the coolness where you are talking about. You know, while. Hey, yeah, Mr. Me stop, me stop, you know, stop listening to that tall music for more 16 years old. But my point for me, I try, you see, every time we get lost talking about the symptoms, we miss the focus on the cause. So you see how when someone come up about music and dance hall, a real distraction. Because at the end of the day, all of that cause the violence. Violence have to do with the structure of society and the parenting and them something because no matter what Me no have to worry about my son and listen to the music then it have an impact on him because me have a greater impact on him My little stepdaughter will bring her to the park yesterday for her to teach her how to skate But why she look up to me? I'm not going to make she look up to Nicki Minaj and you know, rapper and them something there but them kids in them inner city, they not have no other example. They not have no, you know, it's easy for everybody to be critical of somebody's position, especially a child, you know. But if you really and truly have nothing else to look up to, you know, it's virtually impossible as a child to be nothing else other than what you say. You get me? So if you don't focus on the parenting and them something there, no matter how much we talk about the dance hall, it will never stop. It will just never ever stop. Trust me. So Marlon, if you say them now have nothing else to look up to, and at the dance hall, them are going to look to. And so basically, you are confirm what I said then. So Marlon, if you say them now have nothing else to look up to, and at the dance hall, them are going to look to, and blame it. So basically, you yeah, confirm what I said then. If they only 
they have the dance hall to look up to, then the dance hall have to change. That, that even, that even confirm what I said then. If you are going to say them not have nothing else to look up to, them I look up to the dance hall, right? Yeah, you stand up and there with your, your, your youth. So I'm going to look up to you. But me not talk about my youth, not your youth. That's me make sure you say my youth are right. But what about who, who now make them youth are right? And, that, and them are turned to the dance hall, you know? So no, the dance hall have to change now to help those who not have nobody else to look up to but the dance hall. And if the dance hall, I got that, the dance hall I promote, then I got the youth, them I go and grass too. So you can't say that I may understand what you say, but you have to look into what I say too. If you are going to say them that have nothing else to look up to, and I got them turn to, well, fix what them are turned to. You get what I say? You just basically confirm what I say. He's a smart brother, so. For you what I say. The youths, them, now have no father figure no mother figure for turn to. So they turn to the music and I hit a grow them. I them done, I them whatever. I hit a grow them. You see me? So that have to change too. 